Hey, 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 what is going on, you guys? I am the Red Ogre. Today I've got next in my Wi-Fi battle versus Mr. King of Creation. I'm feeling a little down under the weather, but you know what? I'm, I'm not going to let that get to me, not like last time. No siree, Bob. We are going to have a battle, and we are going to talk about it. Um, these, uh, this, this battle was one I had, like, a while back, I think. Uh, so I don't have, like... I, I, I'm not using, like, the Swoobat or the Trevenant or the Absol or the Cricketune. None of those really new Pokemon. Um, I'm using some pretty, uh, some pretty standard stuff that I've had for a while. But, you know, it's all, it's all pretty good stuff. Um, I'm gonna lead off with my Caesar. He's gonna lead off with his Salamence. I don't know what a Dragon-type wants to do to a Steel-type. I've never really fought a Salamence. So, I'm gonna Mega Evolve go into, um, Mega Caesar here. And I'm going to go for the pr Pursuit predicting the switch but it doesn't happen uh and i do some damage with the pursuit but it turns out this thing has flamethrower uh maybe i should have seen that coming but uh like i said i don't really fight uh salamences that much um gonna bring in uh gonna bring in pork ropes for my emborn gonna be able to take a dragon claw and then i go for a banded head smash definitely going to be able to take down that salamence just destroys that thing Embor is Embor is awesome, I say. I say Embor is pretty cool. Um, he's going to bring in his uh, Typhlosion here, and I'm going to switch out into my Rotom Wash. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to take this Fire Blast pretty well, but he's Specs, and look at that damage. Look at that damage, man. That's crazy. I should resist that, but nope. Uh, it does good like two-thirds to me. Um, I'm going to trick predicting the switch, and he does switch out into Umbreon, so that Umbreon is now choice specs, which is really good for me, because, you know, um, Umbreons aren't too great when they're specs. Um, he's gonna burn me, he has synchronized, so he burns me as well, so, uh, those leftovers that I got are pretty much going to be worthless. Um, I mean, they're gonna, like, neutralize the burn damage. Um, actually, no, they're not. I just looked at my HP. They're not gonna neutralize it, but they're gonna make it pretty small. Um, and I'm going to switch out now. I'm gonna bring in my, uh, my Embor once again as he goes for a, a return. And he's burned, and he's specced, so I don't know. I don't know what he would do. Um, so I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be faster than him, I'm gonna go for the superpower. Superpower is going to be able to take him down. It's banded, it's stabbed, it's super effective. There's no way Umbreon surviving that, man. Um, now he's going to bring in his, uh, his Lucario. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sack off my, my, uh, my Embor here. Because, you know, what can I do? Um, he's gonna go for the Aura Sphere. Obviously he's gonna be faster, and then it's going to be able to take down my Embor. Um, so now I bring in, uh, my Kafa Grigus, and he's not gonna be able to hit me with Aura Spheres or anything, he's gonna go for a Flash Cannon, I'm gonna go for the will o -Wisp. not so that I could get the attack drop, but instead so that I could go for a Powered Up Hex next turn, and since Steel doesn't resist, uh, Ghost anymore, that Hex should be doing some nice damage. So he goes for a, uh, another Flash Cannon, gonna do another good third or so to me. And, um, my, uh, my Hex is gonna almost take him down. Not quite. Um, the burn is going to, the burn is gonna bring him to the range where another burn next turn will kill him. So, uh, I stay in with my Kafagrigus just pretty much to sack it off to, uh, to get, you know, so that he doesn't have switch initiative. We just switch into whatever. Um, it's like we're starting off the battle again. Um, he's gonna bring in his Steelix. I'm gonna bring in my Breloom. Um, and now, you know, uh, he's gonna predict the fighting type move, so he's going to switch out into his Typhlosion. But I predict that, and I go for the Spore, and the Spore puts the Typhlosion right to sleep. So that's really, really good for me. Um, he can't use Fire Blasts on me or anything. Um, so now, uh, my, uh, my Breloom can pretty much, uh, take care of the rest of his team, because... Focus Punch can uh, take it down a Typhlosion, and it's super effective to Absol and Steelix, which are his last two remaining Pokemon besides this one. So, um, now I'm just going to be able to really clean up pretty quickly. Down goes that Typhlosion to a single Focus Punch. I could have gone for a Stone Edge, but I didn't want to risk the miss, and I was pretty sure that it would take him down anyways. Um, in comes the Steelix. He's going to, uh, I'm going to go for the Focus Punch. Obviously, what else would I do? He goes for the EQ. EQ is going to, uh, not actually break my sub. 
and uh, another Focus Punch should be able to one-hit KO the Steelix with some amazingly nice damage. Um, he's got the Rocky Helmet, but uh, you know I've got I've got Poison Heal, so I don't I don't care about that Rocky Helmet damage. It's pretty much all healed up by now. Um, and now his last Pokemon is his Absol. I'm surprised this wasn't his Mega. Um, he goes for the Play Rough. Play Rough is definitely going to be able to take down my sub. Of course it is. Um, and now I just go for a Focus Punch. You're going to punch that Absol right in its face. And down it goes. So, uh, good game, King of Creation 98. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. All that jazz, and I will see you next time.